Welcome back to Diecast GT, home of the infamous Outlaw Pass. Today we've traced, we've got Modern Muscle. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. <laughs> Welcome back to Diecast GT. I'm your host, Clutch, and as always, here today, I have uh, my co-host, Straight Pipe. How you doing today, Straight Pipe? I'm doing pretty good. I'm pretty excited about today's race here. Yeah, getting excited over some modern muscle, aren't you? Well, after the race we had two weeks ago, I mean, that was muscle. I mean, you know, the, those engines sticking out of the hood, that was definitely a lot of muscle. Today's cars, uh, muscle car, modern muscle cars, though, are more about sports cars in America, don't, wouldn't you say? Yeah, today's cars have a much different uh, outlook at, compared to yesterday's muscle. Uh, yesterday's muscle was all about going in a straight line, but today they can handle the curves just as well. Yeah, now let's go take a look and see who'll be driving these bad boys today, okay? Up first, we have Van Strong in the 2018 Dodge Charger. And second, we have Den Mitchell in the Dodge Challenger Drift Car. Third will be the Harper Penn in the 2024 Ford Shelby GT500. Finally, we have Kev Hicks in the 2010 Camaro SS. Can somebody please explain to me why people stop before the finish line? Do they not get it? I know, right? Seriously? I don't know what's up with these people. Let's go back and take a look. All right, now you come down here and look at the Challenger just making a challenge against this Charger. Uh, just right around him underneath. Yeah, and from the other angle, we can see just how it just cut right underneath there and pulled right in behind that Mustang. So after the first race, the Mustang's in first place with four, Challenger's in three, Camaro's dead last. Here we can see the Charger just getting sideways and blocking the whole pack and that kind of creates a chain reaction. He just throws it in reverse and backs down the course. But look at the chain reaction here. If you look at the top of the screen, right up there you see that the black char uh, Challenger just ended up on its roof. So, we have it very close between the Mustang and Charger, but the Camaro is yet to finish again. Welcome back to Outlaw Pass Cars and Coffee. We've got some real interesting cars here today, Clutch. Yeah, we do. we got a mix of some cars that have been here before, some racers that have been here before, and some cars that have never been here before. So, I don't know, though. This is a tough one. Uh, Straight Pike, do you have one? Do you have your favorite? Yeah, this most definitely is a interesting weekend. Finding the right car is going to be pretty darn tough, but I think we got a good one. 
yeah, this week we got something special coming in here. Uh, something that we haven't seen before, and realistically, I think this is going to be it. This custom job here is going to be the car that we crown as best in show this week at the uh, Modern Muscle Race. So, I uh, hope you enjoy this car. Once again, the Charger is trying to get that high line and just cuts off the Mustang, gets sideways, uh, just trying to get up to the high side of that track and just really made that mistake. I uh, was able to drop the front end nose back in and keep it straight and keep its position, but man, what a tough break. Yeah, and then down here at the end, you see that the Camaro gets loose and gets sideways, and the, the Charger has nowhere to go, and the Mustang has nowhere to go, and just pushes him completely sideways and blocks the whole pack. So, after three races, your standings are as follows. The Challenger and the Mustang have tied for first, Charger in second, very, very close second, and the Camaro is yet to finish. And here in the final race, you can see that the Camaro goes high and gets sideways again, just blocking everybody off. I don't know how he finished that race. Yeah, and then the Mustang got sideways too, and he got lucky. He got straightened it out. It could have been all over for him. Gets a little bump in the back from the Charger and is able to finish. That's how he gets to finish the race uh, in first place. So the Mustang takes first place. The Charger comes in second with a Challenger only one point behind. Camaro took third in this race, so he managed to put two points on the board. Well, there's our race. The Mustang prevailed, and we have our races for the bet race next week. It'll be my 2020 Mustang and 64 Chevelle. Against my Silva and Skyline. So how about it? You feeling good about your picks? Absolutely. How about you? Are you kidding me? I got that Chevelle with the engine sticking right out of the hood in this 2020 Mustang the Shelby GT500. It's in the bag. Uh, I don't know about that. I want to count your, your, uh, your chickens before the eggs hatch, but, uh, you know, this has got a lot riding on it. Your muscle car tournament is going to have some Japanese muscle in it, you know. Yeah, right. You just keep on dreaming. Check back next week when we have the bet race, where it's going to be Japanese muscle versus American muscle. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you next week.